Right now, a careless mistake leads to a large fire. A man burning leaves in his backyard leads to this. Well, dozens of families without power tonight. The strong winds being blamed for spreading that fire to neighbors. And now, Brian, firefighters warning tonight, do not burn anything these next few days. Yeah, that's pretty sound advice, I'll tell you that. And the gusts are still pretty high for tonight, so we do expect them in various areas to stay that way, not only in the overnight hours, but also for tomorrow. But check this out. This is just happening. Last night, this time, we were at 10% humidity. Now we're at some pretty juicy air out there, so that usually helps lower the fire danger out there. So that's some good news. But let's check in with Tom George and see what's doing out there right now. Tom, how's it looking? Yeah, still a little bit, a bit of wind right now, but earlier that was a big problem for this fire. As a matter of fact, it all happened so quickly. They're still out here even right now. I'll step out of the way and give you a quick look. You can see the crews on scene right here, but it just demolished this one house right there. There's a shed back there, some of the power lines, and it even spread to another house behind that. For Kanita Patias, a feeling of deja vu. There was just nothing but smoke and the firemen running towards the house. After escaping the wildfires in Los Angeles by just a few blocks, she moved here to Vegas for a change. Had thought I'd had enough of LA and the fires and getting so close and then my first week here, there was a fire. This time she wasn't as lucky. A fire next door near Alta and Decatur spread to her house. Her dog managed to alert her and help her escape. I'm grateful that Everyone involved is alive, um, but I'm really angry. Angry because of what fire crews say started this fire, a careless mistake from her neighbor who was trimming trees and burning them in a pit Later, when embers could be spread. Right. In dry desert heat combined with winds, fire crews warning it doesn't take much. Just an innocent cigarette butt thrown on a street. We've seen houses burn down because of that. Just a few weeks ago, another fire on Memorial Day. That one caused by a barbecue grill quickly spreading and even torching a police car. It's just never safe. Just be careful. As for Kanita, this may mean having to start over once again. I'm okay. My dogs are okay. And so, uh, you know, everything else is material. Now back live out here, that fire also caused a lot of damage to the power. It actually knocked out fa power for more than 160 people. In fact, it's still dark here right now. They're working to get that power back on by tomorrow morning. But in the meantime, they do have a shelter set up at the Mirabelli Community Center near the 95 and Jones, where anybody impacted by this can stay for the night if they need to. Reporting live near Alta Indicator, Tom George, 13 Action News.